Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Over here, um, we'll be learning how to deploy a serverless React application um, to our Google Cloud on um, the Cloud Run service. All right, so from here, I have a React um, application here um, called Leap Loading. Let's run that. I'm using npm start to check it out. Okay, so this is my application locally. Um, works fine. Okay, so let's see how we can go ahead and um, deploy this with our Docker. So I'm going to stop the server. I'm going to be using um, Docker. Okay, so first thing is to create a Docker file. All right, so in our Docker file, I'm going to use our um, node system. So from node 16 version, could be any version, depending on your project. Okay, I'm calling these, I'm specifying these to be built. I'll let you know why this um, as we move on the video. And the work directory should be, um, leads closing yeah that's the name of the project you just want it to be the directory name as well <laughs> then after setting the work directory um, on our docker container we would like to copy the package the json okay package the json file so i specify the asterisk so that it can copy package the JSON and then the lock file as well okay into our working directory so the next thing here is to um, run npm install in the container and then after that we we'll copy the content to the working directory then we we'll run um, npm run um, build so that's basically basically going to run um, this build script right here okay so after running that um, we need to set our nginx config so I'm going to basically just create a folder right here called nginx nginx and um, put the, the nginx config so call nginx as well dot conf okay so I'll paste in an nginx config for um, a configuration here so this basically this okay so basically sets in um, the server port and um, all the HTML support right here. So I'll be making this available in the description in my gist on GitHub, and then you can also have that. All right, so after running npm build, um, what we need next is to set the nginx config right here. So I'm going to say from nginx, all I want you to do is let's hope I'm spelling this correctly. Nginx, yeah. Like this. From Nginx. Oh um, version 1.19. Yeah. All I want you to do is copy from my Nginx folder. We have nginx conf that we have created okay copy that into the server etc directory nginx slash nginx.conf last configuration now. then we would copy after that we'll copy from the build so basically um the build we have at the top here that's on that build for the node version um, 
copy lead clothing okay the build folder so we're going to basically create a distribution that by running npm build then we'll have that here so create copy the build folder and specify it specify the look destination so in the server side user share location nginx html all right i think this is um good to go so we'll confirm that we are doing the right thing so let's see okay all right so now i'm going to run um npm run build to create a distribution for me okay that is smooth and that has been done okay guys so now that we have done that the next thing is to use our google cloud all right so let's set some going to clear this okay so i'm going to um, go like g cloud let's authenticate google cloud so google cloud g cloud up login let's log into google Okay, I think I need to source this. Let's source because I have that command. I have this installed. If you don't have that, ensure you install the SDK. Um, so let me just let's see. Okay, guys, so you realize that I have it. So it's trying to log me in to my account. So I'm going to log in. And allow this access. So I'm going to click on authentication and I'm going to set the project. Okay, guys, so I have logged into Google as the The next thing I have to do here is to set my project ID. So I'm going to go like Google Cloud config set project. And then specify the project ID. So this is a project I have on my account. In a case where you're finding it difficult to find the project ID, you can just go to cloud.google.com, then you go to console. All right, so um, just come here. These are the projects I have, and these are the IDs. So you basically copy this. All right, let me specify here. So I'm going to set that project now. Okay, we're good. So now that has been set, let's build our container, do our container locally, and um, we move. Okay, so guys, one thing you need to notice: I'm using an M1. So in case you are using um intel okay you can basically just type in docker build t then you specify the name of your app so leap clothing then you pick everything in the directory but here i'm using m1 so for for me to build an, an arm compatible image for google cloud um, I have to specify another command, so I'm going to say docker build x build. Then I'm going to specify the platform. Platform as a Linux. Linux AMD64. I think T. So this is basically the command I have to use for it to work on Google Cloud. So note that, guys. So I'm going to build that right now. So our image is um currently building locally. So after this is done building, I'll go ahead and um, test it locally. So this should take some time, and I'll be right back once it's done. All right, guys. So um, our build is done. As our container is done building, um, 
I faced an error um, with my node version, so I had to update the Docker file to node 16.15.1. All right, so in case you also face the same error, you can update it, update it to this or a lower version. All right. So the next thing we need to do here is to run this docker so let me um, see the list of images by running docker images okay we have it there so let's run it by doing docker run um, then the app right that's um, our image clothing all right so we have to specify the path as well it runs on port 80 but then on my local system um, I want it to run on port 3001 probably yeah so let's run it locally to ensure it works okay so it says it's ready so let's check that out okay so I'm going to go into the browser there's the local host 3000 of course that is not it so let's go to 3001 okay guys you realize that um, it works low control C okay so clear that so right now that we have successfully created the image and we've run it successfully let's um, give it a tag so um, let's first of all list it okay we have just one image so let's tag it to the container with a have on um, Google Cloud so I'll do docker tag the name of the image which is this that I already have I want to tag it to the remote repository so that's Google container repository dot io slash so we would have to put in the project ID here that we can get from our Google Cloud dashboard just like we copied earlier so I'm going to go ahead and copy this ID for that project put it here then go ahead and specify the name of the image okay all right so when we check this again all right good so now that we have tagged it the next thing we need to do is to push it so let's push it so by doing docker push then we'll have to specify this okay so i'll to take in this and we'll type it again okay so this will be pushed to our google cloud remote repository so the next thing I need to do here is go to our Google Cloud and just go in there, come to search, look for container registry. Okay guys, you realize that we have it here pushed. All right, so that's good. We can copy um, this link or just, don't worry, let's go to the menu right here. And click on um, cloud run to deploy this we use cloud run all right so we'll create a service for it so here we're deploying the container image so go to select we have it right here just click on it and then select and then the name is leak clothing that's good the region is okay over here i want to allow notarized um, invocations because it's going to be a public uh, website then under the container um, my port number is 80 so you leave that to 80 by changing it to 80 and then um, all of that settings you can leave that in case you are you have a an environment variable you can also set that here but we don't have we have to go for create now okay so this being created now guys All right, so it's done creating. And these are URLs. So once I click on this URL, all 
all right guys you see now we have successfully hosted um our website on google cloud all right it's easy easy if you like this video kindly subscribe for more when we go to metrics you can always monitor your metrics thank you guys bye